Hey, good morning. Thanks for joining me today. We're about to go and pollinate an alama flower, which is a, a first for this old man. It's in the uh, same family as Cherimoya, Adamoya, all of those guys. But we have our first and only flower uh, for this year and we're gonna go and pollinate that bad boy. So let's go. So once we walk out into the yard, we're gonna go and see what the alama flower looks like. So look how small the tree is. So I'm probably going to have to take off the fruit, especially if it sets. But I wanted to point out the flower itself which is ginormous, <laughs> almost the size of half my finger. And when I smell it, it smells like, um, I don't know, kind of like overripe bananas. Yeah, it's like if, if you left bananas and strawberries out too long and they were just going bad, that's what it smells like. Kind of awesome, actually. Um, I think this is the biggest Anona flower I've seen so far. I know Soursop and other ones have really big flowers, but this is gonna be pretty cool. So here we are over at our sugar apple tree. And I'll show that we have a couple of hand pollinated sugar apples. But what we're gonna be doing is collecting pollen from the flowers that are spent. So I have my little cup here. I'm gonna go with my brush and I'm going to spent flowers and I'm dabbing the brush into the flower and collecting the pollen that's falling out. Because we are going to pollinate that alama flower with the sugar apple. Oh, it looks like I have four fruits developing. And I was able to tap a few flowers where I should have enough fresh pollen now. To go and close, this is what happens when you hand pollinate sugar apples in Los Angeles, California. I pollinated some with themselves and some with mixed Atomoya and other pollen and I was able to get one there. So as with most Anonesi, um, when the flower very first opens, that's when it's female, and that's when you want to pollinate it. But unfortunately, some flowers are going to have to be uh, kind of sacrificial because they'll turn male in the evening, and that's when you have to collect the pollen. So all the pollen that I've collected from the sugar apple is from, um, you know, flowers that have already opened and went into the male stage. But I have my little cup, and I have my brush, and we are going to take all that fresh pollen that we just collected. But I have this container because if uh, you wanna keep the pollen, I keep it in the refrigerator for about five days. And I'm gonna get a good amount of pollen on there. And then without damaging the flower, you're going to go up and get into the good part and dab all the pollen that you have collected onto the female part. I would not open the flower up too much because if you do, there's a good chance you'll damage it. So I'm doing the work of beetles that normally do this. And I have now probably successfully pollinated that flower. Now the branch is small, like I said, I may not let it develop, but uh, if I do, that's going to be a beautiful, beautiful alama fruit. So thanks for joining today, uh, but don't forget to please like and subscribe. It'll help me and my little uh, friend here, the Anona flower, to uh, provide more videos for you guys in the future. All right, thanks.